In our latest Eyes on March segment, there is a new team on the one line now that's projected to be a one seed in the NCAA tournament. It's the Villanova Wildcats coming in at number four in the latest AP poll. The Wildcats 27-2 after a 78-66 win over Xavier on Saturday at the St. Dodds Center. The Wildcats had 27-2, and the Big East regular season champions, the outright champs, and this is a Villanova team that under Jay Wright now projected to be a one seed. They can continue to take care of business, but they're going to have quite a fight here throughout the rest of the season leading up to the NCAA tournament. You look at, there's a whole bunch of teams locked up at 22nd, 23rd, and 24th in the RPI. It is the Providence Friars coming in at number 22. At number 23, the Butler Bulldogs. At number 24, the Georgetown Hoyas. The Friars earning a win over Marquette on Sunday. They now are in a tie for third in the Big East with the Georgetown Hoyas. Both these teams are projected to be a five or a six. See, Butler is on the five line right now, according to Fox Sports' Stuart Mandel. The Butler Bulldogs are 23rd in RPI now, owning sole possession of second place after a 14-point victory over the DePaul Blue Demons over the weekend as Kellen Dunham went for over 20 points in that victory. St. John's is in the top 30 of the RPI. The Red Storm are on a tear as of late. They come in at 28th. They won by 11 over Georgetown on Saturday and it is Sir Dominic Pointer as the CBS Sports National Player of the Week and for good reason as he went off against her dominant pointer, pointer on this winning streak, averaging over 17 points per game. Has been fantastic, along with senior D'Angelo Harrison. And then on top of that, it is the Xavier Musketeers. Right now, a team projected to be on the 8 or 9 line to solidify themselves. They've had a couple of losses here in a row. The Musketeers now have to try to get back to business with one game remaining this upcoming weekend against the Creighton Blue Jays. They're in need of a big one. That is our Eyes on March segment. Six teams projected to go in the NCAA tournament. How will things turn out? Follow us on Twitter at Big East MB and at BigEast.com for your constant MBB Minute updates. This has been Eyes on March, and I'm John Fanta for the BEDN.